Hi everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna to show you a recipe for honeycomb shortbread. Now in my last video, I showed you how to make honeycomb. So if you're not sure how to do that, check that out first. But once you've got your lovely honeycomb ready, I'm gonna show you how to turn it into some delicious biscuits. Now these biscuits have only three ingredients plus the honeycomb and some chocolate to dip them in if you feel like it. So they're super simple and you should have everything you need in your cupboards. So the first ingredient that we're gonna need is some plain flour. So I'm gonna pop this into my bowl. And then we need some caster sugar. Now you can use brown sugar for this if you prefer. And it's not too much sugar because we're getting so much sweetness from that honeycomb that we'll add nearer the end. And then the last ingredient that we need is some butter. Now it's really important that your butter is as cold as possible so you get that really lovely crumbly shortbread. I'm gonna tip this into my bowl. Now it's time to rub them together. So we're gonna get our hands in there and start to rub together that butter and flour, almost like you're making pastry and we're looking for a sandy consistency. So we're at the texture we are looking for. It's quite sandy, bread crumby, and when you squeeze it together, it should hold itself into a lump. So once you've got your shortbread to this stage, we are ready to chop up our honeycomb. So I'm gonna take some of my homemade honeycomb and chop it up into really small pieces. Now you can use a crunchy bar for this, but if you wanna make it from scratch, check out my last video and you'll be able to see how. So I've got a knife and a chopping board, and I'm gonna take my chunks of honeycomb and start to chop them into really small pieces. So once you've finished chopping your honeycomb, I've used a little bit of chocolate coated honeycomb as well, so some of the pieces have got chocolate on them. We wanna add this into our shortbread mix. So I'm gonna bring that in. And then we wanna just take handfuls of the larger pieces of honeycomb and sprinkle those in. We're gonna sieve out that dust because we're gonna use that to decorate. So once you've got most of those larger pieces, we're gonna start to scrunch together our mixture. So you see we've got the shortbread crumbs and the pieces of honeycomb, and what you want to do is start to squeeze the mixture together. And that butter will melt and it will start to form a nice coherent dough as you squeeze it together. So you wanna squeeze it together until it forms a rough dough no floury patches in the bowl. And when it looks like it will roughly hold together, like this, we're gonna bring in some cling film and start to shape it into a log. If your mixture still feels super dry, you can add a little bit of milk into the bowl and that should help stick it together. Looking for a nice even distribution across the log and then just use your hands to pat it together You can also use the cling film to help by rolling it slightly. So once you've got it into a rough shape, we're gonna roll it in that cling film. And then you can use your work top to help you roll. Squeeze it with your hands. This is the stage where you're gonna get it to stick together. So once you've worked your dough into a log shape, it should look something like this. Twist the ends to seal, and then this is gonna go into the freezer for about 15 minutes or into the fridge for at least an hour to set. So I've got my dough out of the fridge. It's been in there for an hour, so it's now nice and firm, which means we're gonna get really beautifully shaped shortbreads. So I'm gonna unwrap this and then slice it into equal sized rounds. So I've got all of my rounds of shortbread on the tray and now these are gonna go into the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes until they're lovely and golden. So I've got my biscuits out of the oven and I'm leaving them to cool down before I roll them in chocolate and sprinkle them with a little bit of that honeycomb dust that we had left over. They are such cool looking biscuits with all those little craters from the honeycomb. They are gonna be absolutely delicious. Let me know if you give these recipes a go by tagging Baking Martha and at Martha Collison in any of your biscuit creations. And I will see you next time for another great recipe 
on the Baking Martha channel. <laughs>